as fluid as we would expect, interchange of positions, trying to keep the ball. Russo doing that very well indeed. And now Beth Mead, who goes for goal herself, goalkeeper spilt it, and England have an early advantage. Zinsberger's error, and Russo, her Arsenal teammate, there to mop it up. Now a great start for England, but I think from an Austrian point of view, we've just been talking about how they defend well, but this really shouldn't have been any sort of threat at all. Well, Beth Mead down the right-hand side, and it's speculative ball in, neither a, a shot or a cross, really. Zinsberger needs to do better. And certainly the best person to react there is the goal scorer. I guess Austria will just settle back into the shape. It's just to try and squeeze, try and be as narrow as possible inside England's shape and get as close to them as possible. So space is out wide, though, that's for sure. And him on the right with him, Mead on the left. Letizia feeding that ball in the run of Toon. Clinton fancies a goal! Oh, so close to a goal on debut. And a fine effort from the 20-year-old. Now that would have been fabulous. It's great to see Grace Clinton getting her debut in the England senior team. An instinctive effort. She's so unlucky that it just didn't end up in the back of the net. She really is pulling up trees as a young player in the England system. Probably the best keeper in England at doing just that is Morgan. Picked up by Stanway. Greenwood. Stanway forward to Toon. Toon working this ball wide with Russo in the middle. And Hemp. She loves to attack defenders and gets past them more often than not. And the cross came in and she put it on the plate. And there is the debut goal. And look at all the England players round Grace Clinton, who took the chance well. And England double their advantage. And Austria in a, having a problem or two at the moment. Tell you what, that was brilliant because I don't know how many passes it was but it was playing out from the back. You mentioned right at the start of that move about Hampton and the way that, as a goalkeeper, that she's comfortable with the ball at her feet. No real pressure from Austria all the way up the pitch, but I think the most positive thing about that is Clinton gets herself on the, sh the score sheet really positive. You know, we've probably had about six or seven passes before it ends up out wide. A lot of bodies in the box. Wasn't very well defended again by Austria, but... Grace Clinton certainly won't care whatsoever. A great start by England, but I'm disappointed in Austria. I've seen them play a lot better than this, you know, work a lot harder, but you can only beat what's in front of you. Hello. Schenving. By Munich will go across to take this corner. Schenktel is up. Marcella as well. Corner sent in. And an equaliser, you might say, against the run of play for Austria. It's terrific ball from Narschenwink. And I think it was Kirkberger who got ahead to that to make it 2-1. You no, know, they've been poor at times. Austria in the opening, nearly half an hour, but just shows you set pieces. England be disappointed with that. In terms of a player just being free, but it's a terrific ball in. Again, Austrian passing it out, just end up losing it. Oh, and England take advantage this time. Russo didn't get a shot right. But Mead with time to pick the corner out, and that's exactly what she does. Beth Mead, one of England's best finishers, showing why. Yeah, and it's not really been out on this right-hand side, has it, for Beth Mead much in this game, but you know, she spent most of her early career as a number nine, and she's probably the most natural goal scorer that England have got. So as soon as she put inside on the left foot, you knew exactly where it was going. And just the amount of bodies that England have got for means that winning the ball high, it's a rare miss hit from Russo, but as soon as she took that touch inside and had a look, you know that she's going to place it. She knows exactly where she's going to put it. A quality finish from Beth Mead. Mead. To playing it forward once more, Toon. Player who occupies some dangerous positions. Clinton. Bring it back to Stamway. 
And Stanway, and it almost dipped under the bar. Zinsberger with the save. Yeah, Austria just cannot cope with the, the speed of the movement and the ball speed and the passing that England are demonstrating this evening. And just the movement, they're just so fluid. Ends in a strike from Stanway, but just went across quite a lot of the players. You talked about Russo then receiving. I think she's with a back to goal and defenders behind her. She's been exceptional tonight. Having here again. Zandra Zil, here's the pressure from Stamway, and England in again, Russo in again! And that is a fourth for England, who are proving too hot to handle for Austria tonight. Yeah, they've pressed so well, England, you know, they've positioned themselves when they've not got the ball, when Austria have got it high up the pitch, so they win it high, and then as soon as you win it high, you get players like Russo in the positions where you want them, right in front of goals. Adrazil got herself two England players around and then you just knew exactly what was going to happen. There was no way on earth was Russo missing that. And, and that is all about England's game plan. Mead. Verbermois header and flicked on. And Carter will claim the final touch. A hint of offside, but the flag stays down they're just checking it but then the flag has stayed down a goal for England and 5-1 to England yeah she looks slightly embarrassed I think Carter wouldn't have been embarrassed about that finish great header from Mum and Moy and then just trying to get a little flick on it it's a perfect finish and he actually looked a little bit embarrassed afterwards Carter that that was the way that she finished him it was brilliant Dunst who can shoot from range but that's a clip ball in and a goal back for Austria. And again, it's a double tonight for Kirkberger. Another header for the centre-back, who can smile despite the scoreline. And that is, has been England's one weakness tonight. You know, the ball into the box and allowing the opposition to get the first contact, score two goals from those sort of situations. Look at Laura James forcing her way through. This will be some goal for her. Oh, it's off the post. Fire a save. But no denying Beth Mead her second. And England strike back straight away. No goal for James there, despite her strong work. But more moments for the travelling support to celebrate. Yeah, I mean, Lauren James just glides with the ball. She makes it look so easy, and it isn't easy. She's got players, she's got that pace, she just gets away, and as soon as she gets away, there's absolutely no way strength-wise, she's letting any player get the better of her, but hit the post. Beth Mead, you know, when you're a goal scorer, you make sure you're in positions like that just in case, and just in case you get... That's not a tap-in, she struck that well. And then Daly on the move and held her run perfectly, and the flag stays down, and this for seven! Yes, there it is! And Rachel Daly adds to a significant tally for England tonight. An impressive performance and another in an added time. Yeah, she doesn't miss those. Rachel Daly, actually terrific strike from her. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's happened a few times tonight. Rachel Daly probably be a bit frustrated that she hasn't started this game, but, you know, Russo was brilliant as the number nine. But when you come on as a goal scorer, it's going to be a... It's a tight one, that one. The assistant referee sees it as onside, but when you come on and you're a goal scorer, then this is what you try and do. Great finish. Austria, after providing England with some tough opposition in recent meetings, it's not been the case tonight. Well beaten. Another edition of Lioness's Try with Esme and Hempo. You feeling good? You ready? Yeah. I'm well, she's been in, <laughs> staring at me for the last 20 minutes. Oh, so really? I'm expecting yeah. a miracle. Well, yeah. I was sat waiting. I was just like this.